Hi. Hello friends. I am your Worldpedia speaking. Israel-Gaza war, Israel-Hamas war, America has been completely defeated. Can you believe it? That's the truth, friends. America has been completely defeated in this war. Israel. An important thing about Hamas is coming out today. Hamas is operating from the underground of all the hospitals in Gaza. This is a very important thing that is coming out with evidence. Israel army says that Hamas is fighting this war from the hospitals in Gaza. Israel army has accused Hamas of this very important report. Because Hamas is using the hospitals in Gaza Strip as their operational centers. The Palestinian territory, Gaza Strip is also important to attack. Under all the hospitals in Gaza Strip, there are command and operative centers for Hamas. What is more surprising is that all the doctors and civilians in the hospitals know about this. They are the ones who are most involved in this. Israel has also found satellite images and other spying videos. Is it spying that they don't have? The United Nations, the United Nations, says, soon many more will die from Gaza siege. You all know that Israel has completely surrounded Gaza. We have made a video on Gaza siege with the technical details. How they have surrounded Gaza. What will happen if they surround Gaza? What kind of impact will it have on the people? We have made a video on Gaza siege with the technical details on the first or second day of the Hamas war. We have made a video on Gaza siege with the technical details on the first or second day of the Hamas war. Today, the United Nations says, Israel has besieged Gaza. So there are more chances for thousands of people to be killed. Many more will die. Israel's ongoing siege of Gaza. Israel's ongoing siege of Gaza. What has happened because of this? The sewage that flows there. The food. Shops that run there. They are all full. Because there is no power there. The people don't have basic necessities. There is no electricity, no gas, no food, no medicine. Because of all this, there is no common activity there. On a daily basis, there is no generic activity. So, the sewage is not cleaned daily. All the food shops in Palestine have started coming out to the road. Some houses have started going out in the streets of the Palestinian territory, as the food shops all over Palestine are coming out, the United Nations says that there are more chances for thousands of people to be killed. The United Nations says, people in Gaza are dying. They are not only dying from bombs and strikes. The United Nations has said this. That is, people did not die only from weapons and shelling. Soon, many more will die from the consequences of the siege imposed on the Gaza Strip. That is, Israel has soon besieged Gaza. No one can go out. No one can come in. There is no basic supply at all. There is no electricity. There is no regular cleaning. There are no municipal activities at all. So, there is a chance for thousands and millions of people to be killed. The United Nations has said this. At a time like this, America has entered this war very brutally. This morning, America puts new sanctions on Hamas, members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard. The circle of members and Hamas founders, the close vicinity, close friends, close circle, more than 10 of them have been sanctioned by the United States. At a time like this, many problems will arise within Israel. The immediate family of the hostages, immediate friends, kids and kins. Well-known people, those who live in the streets, against the Israeli government, many people have come out to protest. A report is coming out. 
There is a lot of propaganda in this. False. Propaganda. During this wartime, such propaganda is happening. It happens in many countries. Is this a kind of propaganda? Is it fake news? We don't know. But against the Israeli government, he had already come to power, and there were many oppositions. That is why the attack on Hamas, the attack on Hamas, the intelligence failure caused by some separatists on Netanyahu, there is such a general talk. You all know that. But what they are saying now is, almost half of Israelis opposed to immediate Gaza ground attack. This ground invasion should not be done immediately now. There is a news that almost half of Israelis have voted. The very important reason for this is hostages. Don't go into this video with a big issue about hostages. Hostages have died, friends. Evidence has come out for that. I will tell you how. So, if you see this news, almost half of Israelis opposed to immediate Gaza ground invasion. Israel's ground attack, or ground invasion, almost half of Israelis, at least half of the people, opposed to this news. It's purely based on the hostages. That is, you must first rescue the hostages. Without doing that, you must attack them, destroy them, kill thousands of Hamas. Is it right to be like this? Is there such an opposition within Israel? 7,323 people have died within Gaza so far, friends. Israel was around 1,500 people. 1,200 plus 220 hostages. That's 1,500. Today, according to the morning count, 7,326 people have died. Within Gaza, almost everyone is Hamas. Civilians have also died. Today, almost seven to eight Arab countries have joined together and issued a joint statement. Why? Because Israel did not follow any war-related laws. It did it in a group. More people are coming down. Israel is not doing the right thing. Today, more than seven to eight Arab countries have joined together and are doing it for the first time. They have issued a joint statement. What have they said? Israel has crossed the border. Already, Israel has crossed war laws, war regulations and war regulations. Today, Arab countries have issued a big warning. At such a time, an unidentified drone crashes near Sinai Town, Taba. Where is Taba? Sinai Town, Taba is a small town in Egypt. Where did this drone come from? Who was attacked? I will tell you. But the news for now is that an unidentified drone crashes near Sinai Town, Taba. Do you know? The Sinai War that took place between Israel and Egypt is a big war. If you look at the Middle East, the African border, and the Red Sea, all the Arab countries in the Red Sea, if you look at this, when you hear the word Egypt, you will hear it very simply. But Egypt is one of the most powerful military in that zone. In that zone, Egypt is only afraid of Israel. Except for Israel, Egypt is not afraid of anyone in that belt. Egypt is such a powerful country. If you look at the military, look at the news that came today. Already, after the war started, a missile hit the Egyptian country and some people were injured. This morning, an unidentified drone. It is not an unidentified drone. We know who it is and how it came. Israel says that the main Operation base of Hamas is under the chief of hospitals, and many other hospitals like this, the hospitals in Gaza, they are under the hospitals. IDF, Israel Defense Force, has said today, terror group has underground complexes, they have built big buildings in the underground, under the 
hospitals in Gaza Strip. They have built many complexes. They have built many buildings. And they are using it as the operation center that they need. Hamas has said that it is not true. The command centers, the hospitals are baseless. This is their habit. But their satellite images are out there. Who? Israel. In this hospital, under this, there are many such complexes. From this, rockets are made. Where it has moved, with the heat map, they have released the satellite images. That is, it landed in the Lebanon port, in the Syria port, in Iraq, in Iran, Saudi Arabia is playing with that Yemen. Jordan, landed in this port. Because, all the prominent Arab countries have landed in this port against Israel. But one important thing you have to note is, most of the people do not talk about this. Most of the news does not come about this. America has landed in this port for so many days. What you see in the satellite, Blinken is coming and talking, Biden is coming and talking, Macron is coming and talking, they are diverting the satellite with this. But, they're in the sea, America has started attacking the troops supported by Iran, many days have passed. The rocket from Lebanon, that is, the rocket that came to Israel, has fallen and exploded. In Syria, friends, the Hezbollah troops in Lebanon, have you seen them? The rocket that they dropped, the rocket that they dropped to attack Israel, has fallen and exploded in Syria halfway. Is this the report that has been released today after capturing this? IDF, Israel Defense Force. The same defense force, IDF is saying today, the drone strike on Egypt, that small town, the Taba blast that happened, almost six people were injured, two people were seriously injured, two very powerful projectiles have been launched. That Sinai resort, the Sinai resort, is in Egypt. Who attacked it? They are called Hothi rebels. They are in Yemen. In Yemen, that is, in Lebanon, how Iran supports Hezbollah. How Iran supports the same is with the Houthis Hothi, Hezbollah, Hamas, all of them are the same. The name they have is Houthis are revolutionaries. But in the world, they are terrorists. They will say that they are fighting for their own place. I don't know who Houthis are fighting for. I don't know who Hezbollah is fighting for. Hamas doesn't even know who they are fighting for. Because they don't have any clue. So, these Houthi rebels, the Houthi rebels in Yemen, the rockets that were launched, they don't even know where they fell. They fell in Egypt. Where did they hit? From the Red Sea, they hit the rockets towards Israel. The people of Gaza have said today, friends, Hamas is preventing evacuations. We are going to a safe place from there. Actually, we have to go from their country to the south. These guys have driven back the people who left. Thousands of people have come back from the south to my country. From here, Israel has started the ground attack. To prevent the ground attack, only if the civilians die, the blame will fall on Israel. That's why, the people of Gaza are saying today, Gaza residents say, Hamas is preventing evacuations. The reports have come that Hamas is inside Gaza. They haven't gone anywhere outside. They are inside Gaza. They are inside Gaza. They are torturing the people saying, you shouldn't go there. You shouldn't go there. You shouldn't go there. That's why, the civilians are saying, you go outside. We will hit them somehow. That's why Israel is coming. Today, the Israel defense minister says, nothing like this has happened in Israel's 75 years of existence. In the history of this country, nothing like this has happened. He is saying this.
the destruction that happened that day, the carnage, the horrific destruction they did, the number of Israelis, they abducted them one by one. That is, like this, what is going to happen in the next 75 years, how Israel is going to be, will Israel be a country or not, what will Israel's people have or not, how will the people's lives be, the things that are going to happen in the next 75 years, now, the outcome of the war that is going to happen against Hamas, it depends on the outcome. They have become irritated. Friends. I will say one thing. Friends. One thing. The people who jumped from a big sky in Israel. They will destroy America. They will destroy Russia. Nothing like that. I didn't say anything like that. But I will say one thing. Even the last Jew in Israel, they will be ready to destroy them. To destroy such enemies. They will die. Israel will be destroyed. Half of the place will be lost in Israel. Half of the people may also be lost. Half of the army may be lost. Half of the weapons may be lost. But I will say one thing. The Jews in Israel, the Jews in the world, all of them will come. The Jews in the world, all of them will come to Israel. They will come and fight this war. But even if half of the place is destroyed, even the last Jew, with Hamas or with the Arab countries, whoever opposes them and shows this war as the reason and makes a big attack, this war will continue until the last Jew is destroyed. Friends, they will not leave. Israel's Air Force says that almost 10,000 sites, the sites of Hamas, have been destroyed. It has been 20 days. Friends. In 20 days, they have destroyed almost 10,000 sites of Hamas. How cruel an attack they have made. Since the beginning of the war, I think it has been 20 days, they have destroyed 10,000 sites. In the same morning, America has taken the weapons from Syria, to attack Iran, which is in Syria. Iran has used some places in Syria to attack the weapons from Syria. Those are all proxies. The weapons of America, the soldiers of America, and the army of Iran to attack from Syria. In such a time, Hamas is playing a new game. Since the beginning of the ground attack, they have said that more than 50 hostages have been killed in the ground attack. This is what Hamas is saying. What an idea. But they are not going to leave it. Israel has started a big raid in the sea today. The fighter jet of America has destroyed all the locations of Iran-linked locations in Syria. So, Israel is raiding in the sea, in the ground, and in the air. Because of this, they want to create confusion among Israel. If the hostages are killed, the people will start to fight. Not only the people of Israel. Today, Iran has released a new report. They say that they are going to hand over all the hostages to Russia along with a small group of foreign ministers. They are going to hand over all the hostages to Russia along with a small group of foreign ministers. They are going to hand over Iran is like, why do we start this? The Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Houthis in Yemen have become a problem for everyone. As I said, the Israelis will not leave it. Let anyone say what they want, but this is justice. I am not going to support anyone in this. Israel, let it be human. Rights, let it be wrong. He is doing wrong. He is killing thousands of people. But my opinion is that he will not leave. He will keep doing this. If you say it's wrong, it's wrong. Keep it that way. I have no problem with that. Because, the attack he did on Hamas is a wrong attack. This is, what we have been saying for a long time. Is he taking revenge? Is it wrong to take revenge? It's, wrong. 
He is killing thousands of people in the name of revenge. Are you asking me if it's wrong? It's wrong. I am not saying it's not. But, he killed 1200 people in 10 minutes. That's also wrong. Say it's wrong. Accept it's wrong and come to a dialogue. You took 200 people, right? Bring them and come to a dialogue. Say that you will not do such mistakes again. Do you want a two-state solution? Do you want a two-state solution? Talk. Bring America. Talk. Talk and decide what you want and what I want. Why do you suddenly want to eat food? You are killing 1200 people. Why do you take bombs, sickles, and knives and kill people? Is this what humans can do? Who else in the world does this? You are the only one who does this. Stop that first. Be a human. Simple as that. You. Tell me. Friends. They are doing this. Are they living as humans? If they want to live as humans. What should they do? Tell me a good idea. Friends. Let the whole world see people like this. Terrorism is wrong no matter who does it. It's wrong no matter which religion or community does it. Terrorism has certain activities, behaviors, and practices. If you like this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please watch the other videos. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you so much, my dear friends, for watching all my videos and supporting my channel. Until I come back with my next awesome video, it's bye bye from Worldpedia. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay active and stay fit. And always dream big in your life. We should believe that. We can achieve anything. Anywhere. My dear friends. And. As I always say. Please take care of your. Parents at home. Take care of your parents at home. My dear friends. Thank you. Bye bye.